Okay, this could be a game changer. Someone said pressing R quick stacks into chests. Oh. Oh. This is going to be your guide to important things you should know about Pal World. Let's start off with subspecies of Pals, because if you try to look for them, they're not going to have habitats. No day, no night. Habitat unknown. But some of them will have a habitat. Others can be found in the overworld as boss encounters, so we have something like the Mossanda Lux. And then there's subspecies like Jolthog Crist. Maybe you don't have one at all, maybe you find it in a syndicate cage or hatch it from an egg, but also you can just find them in the wild. So I found a Jolthog Crist wandering around in normal Jolthog areas. They just might be rarer. Also, you can breed for them. I haven't gotten into the breeding, but one of the first Pal World trailers showed like a typing being bred with another type. So I wonder if you have like a female Jolthog and then a male ice type, it's just going to make a Jolthog Crist. So I'm going to be diving into breeding soon, but this finding it in the wild makes sense because it was also in one of the Pal World trailers that Pocket Pair did a video on getting the strongest pals. They find a Relaxorus Lux inside of a pack of wild Relaxorus and they even say, yeah, they're not very common. So maybe it's certain PAL subspecies, maybe it's all the ones that you can find in the wild, but even if it says habitat unknown, it can spawn in as a rare spawn in a pack of other ones. And one of my fans, Atraske, said they found Jolthog Crist spawn with Dire Howls, and then the Dire Howls start attacking it immediately. So there could also be some weird dynamic spawns for certain species of PALs, including the subspecies. Okay, and I guess there's just some things science can't explain. So Lee's Punk isn't found in this, in this area. But here's a Lee's Punk and an Incineram. There's also a Syndicate Thug that wasn't attacking, so it could just go into like these weird static spawns that also exist in Pal World. So that could explain some of the other interesting species encounters, but level 10. Cool. Yo, check out this spot. The devs actually made a refined ingot base area that has coal and ore. You can find it here. So just south of the Free Pal Alliance Tower. Reminder, improved furnace unlocks at level 34 for the refined ingots. So by that time, you're going to be able to deal with the level 20-ish, 30-ish pals in this area, which means get a flying pal, get up there, and then set up your base. That's going to be like the best second base probably. Also, eggs OP. A lot of people are saying like, oh, I didn't do any of those things. I just found it in a random egg. And that's just going to happen. I got over a dozen new species of pals randomly from all the eggs I gathered. So if you see one, get it. Get it incubated. And then that could turn into some profit. Uh, it turns out Vixie is actually busted for the early game because it drops arrows and pal spheres. So you go to the pal deck and it says it sometimes digs up items. But if you have these assigned early on, yeah, you're not going to have to worry about arrows and pal spheres as much. Also, because this is a partner skill, you can condense the Vixie, and then that's going to upgrade the level of dig here. So you find two spheres, or two arrows at the same time, and then you can also upgrade the work speed with pal souls. So, yeah, you can uh, just have, like, one god Vixie just kind of fueling you for a long time, getting you through that early mid-game. Now, this dude brought the tech. When you TP while encumbered, you can grapple to a chest. Well, I didn't waste the ancient technology points to unlock the grappling gun, even though I'm in the end game now and I have an excess and I can just unlock everything anyways. So yeah, let's make the hyper grappling gun. Fires a hook that latches onto distant targets, pulling the user's body towards a target. It's achieved overwhelming mobility because of research. All right, so we have our hyper grappling gun let's go and try this out so yeah we're just gonna load up on all these resources oh no we're encumbered will it just shoot us oh it can just shoot us that way so maybe we can even oh it needs oh it's got a cooldown interesting so i'm wondering like yeah can we even just crawl across to get where we need to go it seems now, can like we shoot super works. duper far yes we can doesn't matter that we're encumbered with an incredible, impossible amount of weight. Good to go. I don't know who needed to hear this, but doing shift plus crouch is going to give you a combat slide and you can use it to preserve momentum and go even faster on the glider. The grappler plus glider also has tech. So grapple, switch, glide, preserve momentum. That's, I wish I knew that to help beat the game before I had a jet dragon zoom through everything or before you get your like crazy fast mount. That's crazy. 
Well, this is embarrassing. I've made it to like the ultra hyper caught every pal in game, and I didn't know that the black market traders existed. So I'm gonna fly over here. It's somewhere in this location. So it's an abandoned mine shaft, but it's not going to be as visible on the map as the mine shafts that have the special pals inside of them. But it seems like the same thing. Just kind of go down this winding thing, and there's going to be a black market trader at the end. Oh, he is creepy. But all right, dude. What do you got? What's this contraband? It's just some pals. Like, there's, there's non-black market pal traders around. But okay. And it doesn't look like he gives me much better prices for my pals. You know, I've been trying to pawn off these humans, but they're not worth enough. It's a person. Should go for more money. The trades are kind of garbage, but maybe we can try catching him as well. Oh, yeah, he's got the mach He's got the machine gun and a Cognito. Interesting. But 21 catch rate, all that fun stuff. Maybe I slam him with the baton. A Lamau. Oh, oh my, that's an insane amount of money and three gold keys. Oh yeah, also worth noting that I do have a 3x dropped items multiplier and I also have a very lenient combat multiplier, so that dude, probably a lot harder. So that means he drops one gold key and like 12 to 13,000 gold and would take the same amount of gold and bullets to potentially kill. Might as well see what all the black market traders have. So this dude's right here on the beach, just out in the open. Maybe I'll grab that for thumbnail. Bro, these aren't anything. I guess they have like a rotating stock or something, but it doesn't really seem that crazy. Name underscore dark trader 3750. And then there's two more black market traders. One is going to be outside of the desert town, and another one is going to be in a cave somewhere around the PIDF tower. Pen King, Catress, Joldog Christ. Hey, way of getting Joldog Christ. Funny. And then just dab on him. Guess I should go for those headshots. And I'm going to be working on a breeding guide, but man, this is beyond complex. But we do have some early tips. After 15 straight hours of messing with breeding and learning, I've created the ultimate ground mount. Swift, ferocious, musclehead, burly body. It's possible. That's crazy. How do you mass produce them though? Even if the parents have the two exact skills I want, it's extremely rare to get the exact four I want. So often you just get gibberish and then new passive. So if you feel like your breeding is failing because it's not passing down everything, just good luck. I find it's pretty common, but by pretty common, I mean seven out of 100 eggs to get like all the skills that you want. So breeding for perfect skills is like old school Pokemon breeding if you need to scratch that itch. Meant to be a project thing, not a I want a perfect mount, let me get one real quick. You can also make it work out to get Nimble, Runner, and Swift, and the boy will travel fast. There we go guys, if you found these to be useful tips, please like and share this video. Also comment your thoughts down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video, hope you have a nice day, thank you very much for watching.